Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. Okay, so maybe you didn't finish or broke your New Year's resolution to get to the gym or start that project you had kept on the back burner since, well, okay, the dawn of time. I get it. That's okay. But you know... There's one thing you can do to get back that inspiration, that can-do spirit. Perhaps you or someone you know has a vehicle that they don't drive anymore. Why not consider donating it to the National Federation of the Blind? All you have to do is call 866-282-7327. That's 866-282-7327. You can also log online to nfb.org and click donate. And maybe you know someone that's blind. You can reach out to nfb at nfb.org. Org. That's NFB at NFB.org. So what do you have to lose? You have everything to gain by helping someone in need, like your motivation. Oh, and a tax deduction. So why not get started today? And remember, charity is only a phone call away. And welcome back to Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the Nassau Community College Foundation on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. I'm your host, Anisha Boston Hill, along with Ray Schwetz. And our guest today is Jean LeGuerre, Mr. Natural, certified master trainer, author of The Art of Rap. And Jean, thank you for coming to the show today. We're really, really excited to talk about fitness and health. And thank you for sharing your your purpose and, and why you do what you do. Myself, I'm trying to figure out, you know, meditation is great, but how do I get off that couch and stop being a couch potato well for me meditation is dangerous because as i said i think my body needs sleep so that's what happens when i meditate my body says i need sleep but uh, you know it's, and you also mentioned prayer and um to me that's something that i do feel like i need that you know yeah. you need that time you know at least once a week when you're in church or you know you, you take a moment during the day and just stop and just kind of take stock and you know be yeah. thankful for the things you have and Absolutely. all that. I'm really thankful for my elliptical that I don't use, my <laughs> rowing machine. They're good at drying clothes, though, you know? Root. I even have a spin bike that I don't use. <laughs> I have ball, you know, giant balls. I have stepping well, I think things. you need to read a book. I have yoga mats. I have right. a, lot, a lot of, I have an entire gym I, in my house. I think you need to read the book then, right? The I, Art think of so. yeah, I, I think so. I think so. It. So tell us about that book. Well, my book is, it explains a lot about my journey, uh, how I got on this path uh, to become a bodybuilding champion and a fitness instructor, and just uh, how life can challenge us in so many different ways, and things occur that we see as obstacles, things that we look at almost insurmountable, and we say to ourselves, I don't know if I can do this, you know, because there's so much going on. It's so difficult. It, it's so stressful trying to manage life and manage a career, you know, but life is always going to come at us in that way. That's why to optimize our level of fitness, it gives us strength, you know, to really go after our goals and our hopes and our dreams. So for me, the art of the rep was an opportunity for me to multiply myself I said there's only one of me but if I can write a book I said that book can be multiplied into hundreds thousands and possibly millions and each person that has the opportunity to pick up my book and read it can be inspired to really optimize their level of fitness and to go after their heart's desires and say you know what I've I've felt myself in the same position where I started to question whether or not I can handle the challenges of this journey. But reading this book and understanding that this is normal and what I what I went through, you know, is Mr. Natural, it was no different, you know. So if it can inspire somebody else to be more motivated to go, out, go after their life's dream and to optimize their health and their well-being, then for me, you know, you have to get a copy of my book because it will do both of those things for you. It will educate you and it will inspire you to know that you're not alone. Every goal comes with tasks and adversity and challenges and all kinds of things that we wish weren't there because we want the road to be paved. We don't want it to be full of uh, rocks and, 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 and holes and fallen trees and all kinds <laughs> of things that make us not r- want to go that way. But 
Mm-hmm. But this is what life is. It, it's not always a paved road. And sometimes it's our responsibility to make a way when there seems to be no way because no one else did it before us. And we have to be bold in that way to know that we have what it takes to take that path, even if no one else has taken it before, and go after what we believe is our dream and is our destiny and put in the work. Because everything that you desire to do requires concentration and discipline and putting in the work. And as long as we do that, each day we will find ourselves one step closer. So fitness, if a person was to do push-ups, you can't start out trying to do 50 or 100 you start out doing one push-up, and then it's three push-ups, then it's five, then it's ten. You build slowly. You have to look at your body and say, you know what? What can my body do? And this is the best you have. It's not what I want, but it's what you can do right now. But I believe if I keep doing this consistently, you will grow stronger, you will be better, and we will advance ourselves and become what we aspire to be. And this is the way it works. So... Don't worry about all that equipment with all the clothes on it. Just move all the clothes and start saying to yourself, three days a week, I'm going to do one of these machines for, for 10 or 15 <laughs> minutes until you start doing it consistently. And before you know it, there'll never be clothes on that equipment ever again, and it'll transform you. Well, you're inspiring by numbers, and we appreciate that. And also, you mentioned so you're, you're multiplying yourself so that you can reach many. And you also quite literally multiplied yourself. So let's talk a little bit about the next generation. So let's, let's talk about a little bit with Gene Jr. Because uh, I'm curious. I mean, a lot of business owners out there, you know, they, they have a successful business. They work hard. And it's like you said, there's really no magic to it. It's just you got to do it. You got to put put yourself in the in, in the place where you do it, and um, passing that on to Gene Junior. Gene uh, Junior, how have you felt? Have you felt in, you know intimidated by that? Uh, are you excited by that? Tell us a little bit about uh, you know kind of working together and and continuing that business. Uh, working with together with my dad has been really exciting for me. Uh, I just recently moved back from San Francisco after living out there for two years. Uh, when I first started competing in powerlifting and after I'd set a state and national record in the squat and the deadlift, I got offered a job as a trainer out there. So I decided to move to the West Coast and start training and working out there. And I knew I saw you in Venice Beach somewhere. <laughs> I got go. that Venice Beach vibe from you. and I <laughs> So I, I gained a lot of experience out there. I learned a lot about myself and like being an independent trainer and just growing myself and my mindset. And now I'm back home and I'm ready to start working with my dad my dad is obviously not lost a step not since i've been gone away and it's like uh, i've always told my dad from like years ago now that one day we're going to be at the mountaintop together so it's like coming back home and seeing everything that my dad's been doing and knowing the direction that he wants to go and i'm right there behind them just kind of like taking it in my own direction where I'm more focused on like the strength sports and athletics where he was more focused on the bodybuilding and stuff like that and just kind of bringing all different parts of fitness together so it's like everything that my dad is doing right now when he's ready to like fully pass on the torch and give me his business then I'm just going to continue taking that to the next level and in the meantime you just make a great father and son team so exactly it's just pretty <laughs> awesome all around that's right <laughs> you are listening to Tower Talk Business Radio on the voice of Nass Community College, 90.3 WHPC. My name is Ray Schwetz, along with Denise of Boston Hill, and our guest today is Gene Laguerre, Net Mr. Natural, Certified Master Trainer and author of Art of the Rep. So we mentioned beach before. Yes. I saw DB taking notes. I've been trying to figure out how to get this beach body for many, many years now. and um, You're doing just fine. You go to Venice Beach <laughs> and you're like, everyone in California, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're in they're in shape their their bodies are tight they have these amazing personalities well one of the things you have to keep in mind about Venice Beach is that there is no winter bulk absolutely that we all indulge in <laughs> no. way too much on the east coast if you live on the west coast there is no bad weather there is no oh let me tie my hair up and put my sweatpants on and my jacket because nobody has to see me right now mm. no you're visible 12 months out of the whole year so, so there's no tire you, iron there is no there's tire no. out you got to be on point no matter what so it's like people very good instinctively yeah. just have a lot more motivation out there and that was one of the biggest things that i learned about the west coast the the fitness environment on the west coast is so much stronger over there because of what 
the city itself demands. It's like you have to be on point. So whether it's being in ho- whether it's being in Hollywood, whether it's being in Venice Beach, whether it's being in any part of the West Coast, you're dealing with good we- weather three quarters of the year. Right. So the whole year. So it's like people are just motivated a little bit differently where it's like for us six months out of the year, it's like you can kind of like slack off and get away with it and you can use your clothes to kind of hide what you're not doing. <laughs> and then Thank you have God summer. The sport coat. <laughs> He's telling all the secrets here. Yes. <laughs> and then we have summer where it's like, okay, now we got to be on point. And then fall <laughs> comes and then you're like, oh, I'm done. I'll try next year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm good till January. And the so. cycle continues. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the size of it. <laughs> so how do you stay motivated in the winter? I mean, of course, it's in your blood, but what's your natural what's inspiration? Your <laughs> yeah, what's your secret sauce? <laughs> well, for me, I have always been very competitive. So it's like from the time I was a little kid and my dad started training my brother and I together, it was always me against my brother. <laughs> So my okay. dad would pit us against each other all the time. Who could do the most pull-ups? Who had the biggest bench press? Who could do the most push-ups? This, that, and the third. And there was three of and you. And there was three of us. So it was like that always stuck with me. So even after my brothers stopped training at the same level I did, that competitiveness of me never went away. I became a personal trainer with myself, and I started working with friends who enjoyed working out. They introduced me to powerlifting, and I was like, oh, you mean I can now step on a stage and compete with other people where the, I got to lift the most weight? Say no more. (laughs) (laughs) Now, we're running a little short on time, so I want to make sure our listeners know where to find you. So tell us, where do we find you? Gene and Gene. Well, my location in Great Neck is 770 Middle Neck Road. And uh, if you want to purchase my book, my book is available on paperback and digital on Amazon, The Art of the Rep. And what's your email? I mean, your website. My website is www.mrnaturalusa.com so anyone interested in getting healthy and transforming your life please get in touch with myself and my son and we will deliver I think you got two customers here. I think so. We're going to break the seasonal stuff, and we're going to go. We're at it 12 12 months a year. I can't stop thinking about, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger and his son, (laughs) the second son, the the third son. No. Well, is it Patrick? Not Maria's son. Okay. The maid's son. Oh. Oh. But they look just alike. Yeah, they do. And I'm just sitting here looking at you going, you're like a mirror image of each other. I, I didn't mention the phone number, 718-406-1200. Awesome. So. Excellent. And you, so Go ahead, Gene. You guys can find me on Instagram at underscore the last barbender. Ooh, Whoa. I like that. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Gene and Gene, uh, it's been a pleasure to have you on as a guest today. Thank you so much for being our guest. Gene Laguerre and Gene Jr., Mr. Natural, Certified Master Trainer and Author, Art of the Rep. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have some philosophy for us, don't we you? We do. i like to leave you okay. with DB's philosophy. Things almost seem impossible until you get it done. Stay fit, mind, body, and soul. We want to thank you for being with us. My name is Ray Schwetz, along with Anisha Boston Hill, your co-host and producers. The creative director of Tower Talk Business Radio is Rudy Breedy. This is an NCC Foundation Business Leaders Council production. Visit ncc.edu slash WHBC for more information. Available on iHeartRadio as a podcast on iTunes, Android Podcasts, and Spreaker. This has been Tower Talk Business Radio, powered by the NAS Community College Foundation. On the voice of NAS Community College 90.3 WHBC. We'll talk with you next week.